Lesson 4.2, we're going to model multiplying decimals by whole numbers. We can use a model to multiply a whole number by a decimal by modeling the decimal factor, then repeat the model by the same number of times as the whole number factor. So we have 6 times 1 tenth. We shade 1 tenth 6 times. Here's 1. We shade it five more times, and we can see it's six-tenths. In this model of 100 squares, each column contains 10 squares. There's 10 coming down. We have six times 12 hundredths. We shade in 10, and then 11, 12, so that would put two in this column. Then we shade in 12 more. 12 more, 12 more, we do it six times. We shade the 12 squares six times. That's six times 12 hundredths. And we can just count the number of fully shaded columns for the amount of tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven columns of 10. So that would be seven tenths. Then we have two little hundredths here. Six times 12 hundredths is 72 hundredths. 6 times 12 hundredths means 6 groups of 12 hundredths. We could even do repeated addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 12 hundredths 6 times. It's equal to 72 hundredths. So 6 times 12 hundredths is the same as 6 add-ins of 12 hundredths. 2 times 27 hundredths means 2 groups of 27 hundredths. We shade 27 squares 2 times. We count the columns of 10 as tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then count the remaining squares as hundredths. And there's 4 here. So it's equal to 54 hundredths. That's 5 tenths and 4 hundredths as 54 hundredths. There are 54 of 100 squares shaded. When the entire model is shaded, it represents the whole number 1. And each small square represents 1 hundredth. Each tiny little square, they each represent 1 hundredth of the model. And each column represents one-tenth. They each represent one-tenth of the model. Here we have two times 43 hundredths. We shade 43 squares two times. And we know the product is less than one whole because we didn't shade the entire model. And we count the columns as tenths and the remaining squares as hundredths. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, so we put an 8 in the tenths place, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this column. We have 86 hundredths. 2 times 43 hundredths is equal to 86 hundredths. And that's similar to 2 times 43 is equal to 86. Both products have the same digits, an 8 and a 6, but there is a decimal point in 86 hundredths. For 2 times 43 hundredths, we have zero places for a decimal here because it's a two hole, but we have two place values of a decimal here. We have one, two hops. From the right side to the decimal point, there's two hops. So there's going to be two decimal hops, two places in the product. So there's a total of two hops two decimal place values, two hops in the factors, so there will be two decimal place values in the product, which will be the two hops. So however many total of decimal places, or hops, that are in the factors will be how many decimal place values, or hops, that will be in the product. We can draw a quick picture to solve decimal multiplication problems. We use a square as one whole, a line as one-tenth, and a little circle as one-hundredth. We have four times thirty-six hundredths, so we make 
36 hundredths four times. We have one here, one here, one here, and one here. So we draw four groups of three tenths and six hundredths. We circle ten hundredths as a tenth. We cross it out and draw one tenth down here. And we can do another one and cross it out and draw another tenth down here. We circle ten tenths as one whole. We draw one square for one whole and cross off the ten tenths and count the remaining drawings. We have one whole, four tenths, and four hundredths. Four times thirty-six hundredths is equal to one and forty-four hundredths. We'll do another example of a quick picture near the end of the video. We can continue shading squares onto additional models. This will create a product that is greater than one. We have two times 58 hundredths. We shade 58 hundredths, 58 squares. We have two of them, so we do it again, but it's going to overlap onto a second model. When we make the second 58 squares shaded in. So we shade the 50, 58 of the squares two times by continuing on to a second model, and we count the fully shaded model as one whole. Then we count the remaining squares on the other model as tenths and hundredths. So we have one whole, one tenth, and six hundredths. Two times 58 hundredths is equal to one and sixteen hundredths. Addition and subtraction of decimals uses regrouping just like whole numbers. When we have more than nine for a place value, we need to regroup to the next greater place value. When we don't have enough to subtract from, we regroup from the next greater place value. Emma has 45 hundredths liters of juice. Sanjay has two times as much juice as Emma. Sujin has three times as much juice as Emma. How many liters do Sanjay and Sujin have together? So we think Sanjay's and Sujin's amounts are being compared to Emma. They're both being compared to Emma. We need to find their amounts and add them together. Sanjay's is two times 45 hundredths. Sujin's is three times 45 hundredths. We're going to need three models to solve this problem because we have so many to shade in. And since they're both being compared to Emma's, we can add their times together as two plus three times. Then we could shade five groups of 45 hundredths. We have two times 45 hundredths, three times 45 hundredths, they're both times 45 hundredths, and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. We have 5 times 45 hundredths. We have one full shaded model, another full shaded model, so that's two full shaded models, so that's two whole, and then we have two tenths here and five hundredths. That's two and twenty-five hundredths liters. Sarah's dog drinks 38 hundredths liters of water each day. Bob's dog drinks twice as much water each day than Sarah's dog. How many liters of water do both dogs drink in one day? So we think. It says Bob's dog drinks twice as much as Sarah's. That means times two. We find the amount for Bob's dog, add it to the amount for Sarah's dog to find the amount of water they both drink in one day. So we can do a quick drawing. We have 38 hundredths as three lines for the tenths and eight little circles for the hundredths two times. We regroup ten of the hundredths as a tenth right here. We cross them out because we regrouped it and drew it here. We count the tenths. We have seven. We count the hundredths. We have six. So two times 38 hundredths is equal to 76 hundredths. Now we need to add Bob's dog's amount to Sarah's. We draw 38 hundredths as three lines and eight little circles, and Bob's as 
seven lines and six circles. Now we, we can regroup the hundredths. We can circle 10 of them as a tenth. 10 hundredths is one tenth. And we draw a tenth here and we cross this out because we've now drawn this tenth here to represent it. Now we can circle 10 tenths and regroup it as one whole. We count 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That makes one whole. We can draw a square for one whole. We cross this out after we draw the square. It's now being represented by this square. We can see that we have one whole. We write our decimal point. We have one tenth right here, and we have four hundredths. It's one and fourteen hundredths for both dogs. We make sure to label our answer as liters. It's one and fourteen hundredths liters. In our next lesson, 4.3, we're going to be using properties and place value to multiply decimals with whole numbers. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you have a great day. And remember, there's links in the description to contact me or to support me through Patreon or PayPal or to see the playlist. Bye.